What's going on everybody? It's the Bourbon Hunter. We're here back at it, but we have a cool video today. A lot of collage styles with different things because I'm traveling this week doing my first official barrel pick. So excited to announce that soon. Website's coming soon. Discord's also popping off, guys. We got an Elijah Craig C923 bottle going up up there for a giveaway. So let's get prepared to go check out the rest of these stores and see what they have. All right, so I had to come back and check out Total Wine because honestly, they have a lot of store picks and stuff that every now and then you'll find like a good one, like this Woodenville or even this Driftless Grillin. I mean, this Driftless Glen Rye is some of the best rye on the market. I, I know it's a Total Wine, like it's okay, but Driftless Glen makes some of the best rye out there. These single barrels are incredible. But the main reason I came is because I keep shouting out the Discord. The Discord is awesome. This is what we found today. $44.99 for Old Forester Single Barrel. 100 proof, floor four, warehouse L. Picked by Total Wine. How about that? There you go. One per person, make sure you come get some. They got a couple left. I've actually never had one of these before. So I'm excited to try 100 proof single barrel from Old Forester. I've heard they're incredible, so hopefully it's good. Got it. We're here outside of a small store in a small town in Aynor, I believe, but we're gonna go check it out. Their website or like their Facebook thing has some interesting bottles. So let's go see if he's selling any of these. Wow. Mictus toasted barrel from a few years ago, this year, full proof, CYPB, 12 year, lot B, 15 year, 13 rye, single barrel, small batch, straight rye, and barrel proof. A little dirty eagle hiding over there, big eagle. We got this entire shelf over here, completely full of Old Fitz is now. He said they're for sale. He said I probably wouldn't like the price, but oh well. There's one from 2019 in here, actually, which is quite old. 2020, 2021, 23. Now this Jack Daniels right here looks really interesting. A 1904 gold medal. Special release, proof rye. What is that? Heritage Barrel. Oh, wow. Jack Daniels Tan. Probably from last year. Jack Daniels something. I don't know anything about that. 2013 Birthday Bourbon. Wow. I think that's what he said. 12 year. Dang, there's some cool stuff in here. Stag Junior, say what? Stag Junior, Hancock, it's been there for a hot minute. And Elmer T. Lee. Yeah, A119, that's an old bottle right there, man. I think the B518 is in there. That was the original risk of the year. C918, and then you said maybe a B5. Oh yeah, I think it's all the way back there. Yeah, but the boss man's old school. He, he had people oh, buy a bottle from him and then go out in the parking lot and sell it and make profit. B517. Is that the 17? Oh, what wow. That's old. That's some old bourbon in there. I always like that bicentennial in there. Everybody overlooks that. This one? Yeah, I was looking at it. I don't know. It's I, got I a couldn't. Pewter top. It's got a twisted. Pewter I mean, I top. Has, yeah. Got a pewter uh, top of it. Oh, see, I, <laughs> my redneck couldn't pronounce bicentennial, so I just said, "Oh, Jack Daniel something." <laughs> oh. No, that's the bicentennial. It's got the pewter top, wow. nice metal. That's pretty cool. on there. So I'm sitting here editing and I just had to look into this a little bit more. Tennessee's 200th anniversary, so way back in the day in 1896, Jack Daniels commissioned a special release for the 100th anniversary of Tennessee becoming a state. And then in 1996, they wanted to do the same and released this in 1995 for that particular 
celebration. And of course, the secondary market got a hold of it, and you can obviously see it's about eight hundred and fifty freaking dollars now. Uh, he had one more that was pretty big, and uh, me and my brothers found it behind the bar at the house. Yeah, we drank it. He was so upset. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good. Uh, and like, at I, least somebody I got to drink it. Birthday bourbon that I put regular old Forester in. I've got a couple of empty old pappies that yeah. I've put Maker's Mark in. Yeah. Because they look pretty on my bar. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to anybody, but they look prettier than the regular bottle. Some people put um, like colored sand in it, which I thought was pretty cool. That's interesting. I'll check yeah. that out. Yeah, I got a buddy that does that, and I was like, this is this is kind of cool. Uh, yeah, you're, I really like Knob Creek, but their bottle sucks, and I hate the plastic with the freaking cork on the top. It pinches you every time. Yeah. So I put that in a nicer bottle because it's better mm -hmm. cork. Yep. Stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, dude. Bottom bond, sweet wheat, 12 I year. I any of those uh, Parker's Heritage. Single bell. Love All these Parker's Heritage, yeah. Dude, 10 years, 10 year, eight year, and the double barrel blend. That's probably an insane bottle. Wow. Now, I know. I keep hoping that bubble will bust, and none of this is worth anything, and then I'll just take them all home. Yeah, I mean, at I'd some point. That happen than sit on them. Yeah, at some point the bubble will bust, and you'll be able to come in here and. I've been saying that for years, but I don't think it's going to happen. Scoop like Rolex or Ferrari. I mean, it, it's not. Hey, look at our economy. It's going longer than I thought it would. Uh, yeah. So maybe I'm just an idiot. Maybe. I reckon I don't have enough money to buy anything in there, do I? This Knob Creek 15 right here is outstanding. I got to try it the other day. I've had the 18, I haven't had the 15. That is an old 15 year. Yeah, that was the first one. Oh man. That was so good the other day. Like it's a good this. Ball, we're talking about. Yeah, that. How do, they, how do they justify that price? I don't even know what the price is on Our that. Our price is over $180. That's almost 200 bucks. Really? So we'd have to charge like 50. Yeah. How do they justify that? And if the bubble does bust, these people, I mean, probably not them because they're owned by UGP now. Yeah. But some of these smaller brands like Smoke Wagon, how would they justify their existence? I don't know. I don't know what would happen, but. I'd be curious. Yeah. I've been, I have this one, and this is from this year, but that's from another year, the, the gray I, label. Pretty good prices here on the Redwood Empire Grizzly Beast and the cast strength. They also got another one hiding back there. But yeah, these are about $85, roughly. Freaking great bottles. Yeah, so we're here, we're like, just a few minutes before stores close in South Carolina. Sure enough, find a $70 bottle. Freaking half gallon here. Big bottle of Buffalo Trace, which is probably the cheapest I've seen it today, if I can recall correctly. And the young man working the front desk said that this is his go-to bottle right now. Now, these are really cool, if you don't know. They got a wooden spire inside of them. But I have yet to have one that has wowed me. $49, $44.99. Really cool. So we got like all your typical shelfers here, including, you know, the wood for double oaks and that kind of stuff but this store really stands out because as you may notice they don't have a huge bourbon selection but what's all this right so you got eh taylor small batch kentucky owl Weller 12 i think that's the leader looks really big blanton's a b even got the stag 23c down there Another Weller, Eagle Rares, quite a few of those. Yeah, those are freaking impressive Weller 12s right there. What are the prices again? Can I see that list? You don't mind? All right, so these are their prices on all their stuff. Sure enough, Blends, Eagle Rare. E Eagle Rare is typically around that price in this area, so not too bad there. Stack for two ninety nine. that's about going right on secondary, so... A lot of secondary prices here, but nice enough to see it here in this part of town. There we go.
neat little shop here. All right, so that's about it here at the Sister Palm. Spirit Sisters, uh, Stag, Buffalo Trace, all the, all the cool stuff for all the cool people. Like honestly, I think that that store's probably got the most amount of stuff sitting on the shelf, kind of. Thank you guys so much for watching this little collage style video. Big shout out to the Patreon members. Big shout out to the Discord. Special people in there that have helped me along my journey here while I'm traveling. We got some big things coming up. We are not in town right now because we're doing something big. So thank you so much to the Patreon members, to the Discord members as well, because uh, we're here doing some big things. Urban Hunter, out. <laughs>